The first step in creating this homemade flashlight is to uh, print both the frame and the insert. Uh, to begin with, we're going to waller out the insert just a little bit uh, using an eighth, eighth inch drill bit so that uh, the eighth inch popper of it will fit in there nice and snug, or will actually fit through the hole. So. Now I'm going to test it, and it looks like a tight but good fit. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, test my LED. I have a voltmeter here that um, will allow me to make sure that the LED is actually working, it's not burned out, and that it's the right color. So, just set it to my LED testing and you can see that the LED is actually working. Very important thing to check before you go through the trouble of making your flashlight. Um, it's important that you check it for the color because if you have a red or yellow LED, super bright LEDs lying around, you, you want to make sure not to use those because they, they don't actually drop enough voltage to, um, to keep from frying if you use them. So, found that one out the hard way. So the next step then is to take the long lead of this LED and pinch it with some pliers and then just bend it around the rivet like so. You have a nice little ring that fits perfectly around the rivet when you're all done. Then you take the insert, you run the rivet through the back side, the short rivet. We got two different length rivets here, a short rivet and a long rivet. We're using the short rivet right now. Run it through that hole. We put the LED over the top of the rivet. And then we're going to have to, I'll bend this lead out of the way, then we're going to have to take one of these washers here, proper rivet washer, and we're going to cut it just a little bit so it has a flat side on it. And that flat side is going to line up with the flat side on this insert. This is a gap that uh, is meant for the switch that we're eventually going to put on. The LED's uh, positive terminal needs to be coming out on this rounded side over here. If it's not coming out on the rounded side, you're going to run into some issues. So I'm going to put this washer back into place. I'm going to hold that washer in place using these needle nose pliers. And I'm going to get my riveter. I'll get that lined up and then I'll hold it in place. You can see that shank actually pulling down and mushrooming the top of the rivet. Which is what eventually fastens the LED very tightly to this insert. So now we have a very strong connection that conducts electricity. Um, and this will last for a very long time. The next step is to take some electrical tape right over this washer. We need to cover that washer so that when we bend our negative terminal over, it doesn't come into contact with that washer or else it'll short out the flashlight. It doesn't have to be perfect. What it does have to do is uh, stay in place until we're able to get everything in there with hot glue, or get everything fastened in there real well with hot glue. So now I have uh, the washer completely covered with electrical tape, and two pieces in fact. Uh, over here I'm going to bend it down just a little bit to cover the side of that washer. 
And then the next step, it's pretty easy. I just take this LED and I'm going to kind of hold it a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of a U shape into it so it's easy to bend it to the way I want it. And just plop it right on top of the washer. If you want to be really careful using uh, three or even four pieces of electrical tape probably isn't a bad idea. Give you a little bit more of a barrier there. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do is bend this tab over about like so, and then clip it. So at the end of the day, I have something that looks just like this. And I've pushed that LED down as far as I can so that uh, eventually when I do get to hot gluing it it's it's kind of buried inside the flashlight and it's a little bit protected it needs to poke out a little bit so the light can shine out nice and clean but uh, not too much so the next step is to take a switch and a file and file off the nickel plating on that switch just a few passes is all it takes get it nice and clean I have to do this so that the solder sticks to it nice real well and then I'm going to use some helping hands to hold this guy in place because this is a tricky job so I got it right here I'm also going to use a little bit of flux because flux always makes soldering go way way easier Just putting the tiniest amount right on the end here, and I'm heating up that copper so that this flux actually sticks to it. Now I have some copper tape right here, which I'm going to stick to that, hopefully stick to that tab. This is the part's always tricky too. It's probably the worst way to learn soldering because it's such a tricky connection to make. But I'll give it a go anyways. I'm going to heat that solder up. I'm going to put this on there right away. And then to pull it off, I'm actually going to use a pencil to hold it down while I pull the soldering iron away. Count to three, and then I'll pull the pencil off. And the best way to test it is just to pull on that copper tape. And if it stays, then it's a good connection. If it pops off, you got to redo it again. Once I have the copper tape soldered to the switch, I need to cut this little tiny nub on the back side of that switch off because I'm going to bend this down so that it doesn't get in the way of the pardon me the batteries when I put them into the flashlight so if you look now whoops don't want them both bent down so if we look now, this tab has been bent down, and this one's still sticking straight out. Now I'm going to feed that through the frame of the flashlight here. I'm going to use a pencil to kind of help jam that tape down. I'm not going to put the flashlight in all the way quite yet, or put the switch in all the way quite yet. I'm, I'm not going to stick the tape on yet either. I'm going to put it in just a little bit, and then I'm going to put this insert into place. Getting the insert in there can sometimes be a little bit of a trick. There we go. And then I can push this switch in all the way. I want the lead of the LED to be on top of the flashlight's tab, the switch's tab. So now I can see that if I push the LED over, the its little lead touches the tab down inside there. 
the next thing I'm going to do is uh, dab that connection with a little bit of flux because as always flux makes all soldering easier and then I'm going to get a nice big blob of solder right on the end of my soldering iron nice big old blob and then all I have to do is touch down just about two seconds and I have a really nice solid electrical connection the next step is to test this and make sure that everything's working so put in my batteries flip it up and I can see that yes the light works I've done everything correctly okay so now I'm going to take this tape and fold it back just a little bit so that it makes a little tab covers the entire back side of that battery and then I'm going to cut off this little bit of excess right here there we go so the main part of the flashlight is pretty much done now I need to make the back part and to do that I'm going to take a little half inch PVC end cap here and drill a hole in it and I'm going to go fairly slow because if I go slow that hole generally comes out more in the center of the cap so here I go got a nice 2x4 behind it so I don't drill through my counter there we go nice hole not perfectly in the center but good enough and now I'm going to run my long rivet through that hole fits nicely I'm going to pull it back out for now and then I'm going to take this spring little battery spring and the hole right here is just a little too small to go around that rivet so I'm going to get some really pointy needle nose pliers put them in that hole and then force the pliers open and that'll make that hole just a little bit bigger let's see if that was enough to fit the rivet in not quite I'm gonna have to try again okay. if I try it now the rivet fits through it very nicely okay the next step is to take this washer and this time I'm gonna have to make a couple cuts and make one cut like so and then I'm gonna make one more cut so that at the end of the day my washer is shaped like that then I'm gonna take my pliers and I have to sort of bend this spring a little, around a little bit I need to take the bottom loop and pull it up enough that I can fit that washer in between the bottom loop and the rest of the spring so now those two holes line up I'm going to put the long rivet through the cap here and then I'm gonna hold this spring with my needle nose pliers trying to balance that washer on there it's tricky and then fit that cap right on top once you get it you'll see the rivet going through the bottom through the springs first loop through and then through the washer once everything's lined up just take your riveting tool apply it on the back side here and just 
squeeze, pull that rivet through. Now the spring is secured uh, to the to the cap here, and I have to, the only thing I have to do is kind of pull that spring a little bit so that it actually makes contact with the copper tape on the rest of the flashlight. Sometimes you got to bend it a little bit to get it in the right spot. Next, take your flashlight, screw the cap on. And if you've done everything correctly, if I turn this on, and I screw that cap on, it should stay on. So now I have a nice flashlight, turns on and off with a rocker switch, and it's easy to replace the batteries. The one thing that I would like to do at this point is make sure that LED doesn't get beat up. And so what I'm going to do to protect it is just jab a ton of hot glue all around it. Once it hardens, you can just take a razor blade around the edges and cut the excess off so that at the end of the day you have something that looks just like this.